<laughs> One of the questions we get asked a lot is about our marine stingers and whether it's safe to go swimming in the water. And you'll see that a lot of our beaches have this uh, stinger net, we call it. And what it's supposed to do is to stop the bad stingers coming in and you can swim safely. But what we do suggest is if you go in these, the holes are about so big in the nets and we've got a little one called an Irukinji that's very tiny, like a 20 cent piece and really long tentacles. And so we always say to people, if they're gonna go swimming at this time of the year, that it's best to still uh, put a stinger suit on plus go into the stinger enclosures and that's how you're going to be the safest. Now, we're not, personally, we're not really worried about going swimming at this time of year because I always think it's, you know, you've got more chance of being hit on the head by a coconut than being stung by a stinger. But we wouldn't tell visitors that for obvious reasons. And so you'll see this warning signs around in our summer months. And how's this for a sunrise this morning? It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I'll just take you and have a better look at it. an absolute stunner, especially up that side and the sun hasn't even rose yet. Such a great time of the morning to be out. So this is called Cannonvale Beach. Got a few rain clouds coming in over there but it makes for an even better sunrise I reckon so this is what I was talking about with the net so even though it'll keep out bigger stingers it may not keep away the smaller ones which are the dangerous ones so you'll see the nets have, um, the holes are quite big still. So we do recommend putting a stinger suit on plus swimming within these enclosures. You can always rely on the seagulls to be at this beach. We have a lot of mountain areas around our town and so when it rains uh, all the water gets washed down from the mountains and through these streams and back into the ocean. And we always find that that's where you see the most seagulls because they obviously like taking a bath early in the morning in the fresh water. What a fabulous morning to be out. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously the seagulls don't want fresh fish, 
that they want the fish and chips that you buy from the shops because none of them are picking at this one, which is rather odd. You think it'd have seagulls all around it. <coughs> Maybe these two are going to go in for the feed. Yep. Oh, they've spotted it. <laughs> this is such a beautiful morning to be out. <laughs> 